So I done goofed my first attempt at recording this, and I was like two or three minutes into the recording, so I had to stop, completely restart, so here I am. Welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaia. I am absolutely out of it today, guys, but it's not late at night. Not like it was last time I recorded it. Apparently, when I saved last time, was at 2.13 in the morning. But in the last episode, I don't think anything significant happened. Uh, Amane had a strange conversation with Sakaki, but that was pretty much it. I don't remember too much, but yeah, let's let's hop back into this. Hopefully, I don't mess anything else up. So that's why the that's why the text is blue. I, I messed up, and I just went a little bit too far. Or uh, no, I just, I just completely messed up, and I was already progressing. Um, that, that was my problem, so you'll see blue for a few lines, but it should go away after a minute or two, but yeah, sorry, I'm just really out of it, but this is all I have to record, and I want to try and maintain the daily upload schedule, so, <sighs> whatever, let's get right into it, guys. Oh, the blue text is sort of annoying. But if you stare at it enough, you can notice maybe it could turn white. If you use your imagination, it could be white. There we go. So I guess I was like two minutes in, and I accidentally messed up. My bad, guys. I don't, I don't know what's up with me. It's been a long Easter, I guess. So, that's it. I'm not really sure that came out correctly. Uh... Uh... Maybe? Well, better it uh yeah, well better idiotic and cheerful than sullen and depressed, right? More importantly, is Amane sick? If she's feeling poorly, I should probably pay her a visit, unless there are some feminine problems involved that would make it a bad idea. Okay. I don't really get it, but you're telling me I don't need to be concerned? Targeted? By who? Oh, great. I see. <laughs> I'm used to being targeted. It's not a problem. あれ、ゆみちゃん、おやつ食べないの。え、せっかくだけど、私も少し疲れたわ。部屋に戻らせてちょうだい。そうか。残念な。じゃ、これあげるのよ。それは今日の造形の時間に作ったのよさ。その名
If you're that insistent, I'll listen to it in her steed. Oh no. If, if she starts singing, I'm skipping ahead, boys. No, no, I don't, no, no, please, no, stop. Perfect. Amani's up to something. I had a rough idea of that after our negotiation this morning, but it seems she's definitely got something planned for tomorrow. But if, it, but if it's just more of her big sister role-playing, I don't have any objections to going along with it. She may be older than me, but Amane's just as inexperienced in love. Much as she tries to play the slut, she's probably harboring some innocent interest in the usual romantic cliches. In that case, I'll answer the call. Yeah, I have no intent of running away from my obligations in this matter. I like how something's just happening in the background and we're just not giving a shit. Okay, I can't even think straight. Will you people shut up already? Wow. I underestimated her. I should have fled while I still had the chance. I would know true regret the, the very next morning. Oh great, 4.30 in the morning? Oh boy. Ah, I see it's Amane's turn to narrate. Perfect for me. I'd rather not speak, because I feel like my commentary today is garbage. <clears throat> Oh, so she's actually going to wake him up. Like, for sure. For realsies. Itotekinisometa バカバカしいことを思いついたものだと I'm not really sure I get what she's talking about, to be honest. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That was definitely something. Indeed, what do I owe you? I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm about to weep from joy. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Feels less like we're dating and more like I'm being repeatedly molested. Sakaki did give me a vague warning, but I didn't expect such an aggressive sneak attack. I'm assuming you said something to her about this. She told me I was being targeted yesterday. Oh, it's definitely a fact. I figured it wouldn't be anything big, but clearly I underestimated you. Caught me totally off my guard. It's said that an American radar installation picked up from in, or picked up the incoming attack on Pearl Harbor an hour in advance, but neg neg fuck shit concluded, please, that can't possibly be right, magnifying the eventual damage. Today I was equally lax, and I too paid a heavy price. That said, since I was awake from the instant Amane entered the room and let her do as she pleased, I don't think an outraged declaration of war would be justifiable. And ridiculous as these hormone-addled antics may be, as someone who may well screw up at work one day and never come back, it's hard to get angry about mu er, such minor indignities.
That was really weird. <laughs> but whatever, I, I guess a BJ is a BJ. We'll leave it at that. I knew early on that Amane had a fairly easygoing attitude towards sex. Yeah, very obvious. <laughs> very obvious to, to find that one out. Her words made it clear enough, but the habit of calmly popping up in front of me completely nude really drove the point home. And that sizable body and had curves in all the right places, an undeniable feast for the eyes of any heterosexual man. Despite her dinosaur-like proportions, she's not a rough or crude ty Tyrannosaurus woman. Quite the opposite, she's highly precise, startlingly thoughtful, and an all-purpose housework machine with particular talent in the kitchen. Her personality is frank and outspoken in a good way. She tells me honestly what she's thinking, making communication surprisingly painless, but that courageous front sometimes gives way to timidity. When the girl gets carried away, deliver a brief, firm scolding, and she'll, shriek, she'll shrink in sorrow like an apologetic dog. You can practically see her tail drooping between her legs. When she looks up at me with her best poppy dog eyes and mumbles, um, I'm sorry, with that submissive expression on her face, it's impossible to maintain my anger. However, well justified. In the end, I can't help but mutter all right as long as you've got the message and not in forgiveness. The girl's talent for emotional manipulation is downright fearsome. Yuji, Oh boy, oh boy. You don't play fair, woman. Don't think you can ensnare me so easily in this little honey trap of yours. I'm wise to you. By means of her culinary persuasion, she's insidiously grabbed hold of my stomach. Not to mention that since our relationship went public, she's become even more aggressively clingy than before. On top of which, she's taken her slut role-playing to the next level, periodically whispering, Free puss at any time, <laughs> available upon request, in my ear. To be frank, she's gotten a pretty good hold of my balls, too. At this rate, I'm seriously going to end up unable to live without this woman. If she does end up becoming an essential part of my life, what should I do about it? Premature as it may be, if I'm considering what would be best for Amane, it's probably worth thinking about the possibility of an eventual marriage. Oh, no, 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 no. As a general rule, planning your wedding while still being a student is embarrassingly naive at best. As adolescent foolishness goes, it's right up there with the confidentially sending out your anguish poetry to literary journals. That said, a man owes his woman clearly defined intentions. Coasting along indecisively is the coward's way out. I do feel guilty about the prospect of creating someone who will have to mourn my death, but if I'm serious about marrying Amane, the biggest problem isn't emotional. It's purely practical. Namely, there's my job. In my workplace, making a trivial mistake at the wrong time can mean dying in a ditch with all the dignity of some anonymous stray dog hit by a car. Most of all, <clears throat> it's an occupation that doesn't bear explaining to others. Say Amane takes me to meet her parents. Exactly what am I supposed to tell them? I mean, if I wanted to, I'm sure I could have some plausible, convenient workplace assigned to me as camouflage, but that would be a betrayal of Amane and her family. In other words, I have to quit. Since my two-year training period in America, I've already spent 2.5 years as a regular in Japan. At some point, I even rose up the ladder to acting squad leader, but there's still a good year and a half left in my designated field term. And even when that runs out, it won't exactly be, okay then, thanks for everything, good luck out there. The caller's not coming off that easy. At best, I'll be a permanent reserve, subject to emergency call-ups whenever the company deems my presence necessary. And 10 days a year, I'd be obligated to participate in a training camp for the purpose of maintaining fitness. In short, these chains don't come off until I'm dead. My life's just full of problems. <laughs> Oh, 
Everything's the matter, Sachi. Everything. Oh, Sachi. No, it's nothing. Just stressing myself out with some vague anxieties about the future. Nothing you need to be concerned about. It's only natural for young people to worry themselves over such things from time to time. It's like me with Persona 5. When I started playing that shit, dude, I was stressing out. Man, I didn't know if I had enough time or not, but I had more than enough time. By the way, Persona 5, good game. So what are you doing out here yourself, Sachi? Lessons over already? Ah, I see. Maybe that explains the maid uniform. But then again, can you really explain it? Hmm, community service, is it? Very admirable. Hmm? Nope. I mean, it would be a little pathetic if I was constantly carrying her around like some toddler's ragged security blanket. No, none in particular. Hell yeah, fuck this route. Let's go back to yours. Hmm. I suppose I might be, but what would I need to do? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Soccer's awesome. Especially when it's like... Um, I, I get Little League Soccer, is that what you would call it? I don't know, like middle school soccer, I mean that shit, that shit was tight, especially when I played, hell yeah. As in waving a flag around and cheering? Yeah, so when those kids accidentally break their shins or some shit like that, we gotta be there to fix it right up. I see. And why was that job left to Sachi in the first place? She informs me that the chairman of Mishima Cape's neighborhood council is an acquaintance of hers, and passes on requests like these every once in a while. In a way, it feels like they're taking advantage of Sachi's pathologically obedient personality, which does inspire a twinge of righteous anger on my part. But we can't neglect to give back to our community, and it seems the requests themselves aren't unreasonable, so I guess it doesn't quite rise uh, to the level of unethical behavior on their part. Even so, if my assistance can slightly reduce Sachi's burden, I'll gladly lend a hand. And at that, we'll end it, because I'm almost out of time, and that's good enough for me. So next time, we'll continue the girlfriend enigma. Uh... I don't really much. I don't have anything else to say except I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, uh, subscribe. And uh, I think I accidentally spit my screen. So I'll take care of that, and I'll see you guys next time.